Hello tubers, here we go with a solar furnace. I'm in Nova Scotia, it's February 8th, Sunday, minus 7 outside, minus 19 with the wind factor. Uh, this solar furnace is used for heating the old man cave, she's a little bit drafty but these work good, it's free heat. On the build of this it's got uh, on the outside 2x4 screwed directly to the wall and then caulked directly from the 2x4s to the wall sheathing. On the front of that, the window was a double pane unit. It doesn't have uh, the single pane like a lot of guys are using. This is a double pane unit and they work uh, great. The difference in these and the single pane is the heat loss you're going to have uh, two thirds of the time when there's no uh, value in the, the solar furnace. So, with that said, uh, I use the double pane glass. Uh, guys, it works great. There's uh, a better air value in that if you're using double pane glass. And uh, I have two of these heaters, and the size of them was based off of the glass I had, and it's reclaimed windows with double pane thermal unit on it. And that was just caulked and screwed uh, to the 2x4s on edge. And then on the internal parts of it, it has uh, one inch styrofoam. And it's just a one inch level wall that was put on the back that was fastened to the siding, and then the uh, four sides. After that was installed, then I caulked all the edges and making sure it was encapsulated internally inside so that there would be no airflow coming in or out from the outside. Uh, after that, I sprayed the uh, whole chamber black, flat black paint, and then I put uh, uh, reclaimed roofing, which uh, was used on a roofing job and it was just leftover cutoffs, and that was put on. It's only tin, it's not aluminum. After that was put on, it too was spray painted black, and then the, when the glass was put on, the whole unit was uh, caulked. So, knowing that it was sealed, there's two of these units on here, and it was based off the size of the windows that I had. There's one here, and there's another one down the far end there. With that said, there's two of these, and they're 4x4, four four, which is 16 square feet. The other two solar panels you're looking at beside the door, them are the other two pieces of glass that were off the each end of these picture windows that were taken apart and uh, used for DIY solar panels. They charge the solar generators that I have uh, off the sun, if you will. But these are the two of the same design, these solar heaters or furnaces, they work great. On top of it is a little solar panel to make it uh, power the fans inside, so it is an active, uh, active unit. With that said, it's all reclaimed. It's on the... Uh, man cave there's two of these and they're probably equal to about a thousand watt heater so this is the off-grid man cave I had this given to me for nothing I just put a little bit of uh, siding on the outside of it I had about given to me about eight years ago it was straight so it was an old lunch room uh, they were going to discard and throw away so it fit my needs good it was straight all I had to do was do a little bit of maintenance to it uh, here's the fans inside of the man cave and you can hear it's working and running well it's uh going pretty good there but the problem with this build is uh, this one on this end has a three inch vent port on the top and a draw three inch draw port on the bottom both of these uh, on the bottom sucks it in and on the top it exhausts it out uh, they work and run great but the fan doesn't stop running with that said the one at the other end has four inch ports so I built that one the second one and that seems to uh, cycle all on its own with them uh, panels they run the fan these fans are bearing fans and they're 10 bucks each on eBay. They draw a half an amp, uh, 12 volt. The panel outside has 12 little solar panels in it and they uh, are only 6 volt, 3.5 amps. So they're exceeding the ampage value, but they don't seem to have the, the uh, voltage value. So what I've done is I put this uh, step up buck converter, you can see I got in my hand, uh, and I took it from. Uh, 6 volt up to 15 volts, so now I really get the oomph I'm looking for. But these still don't cycle, so with that said, I'm going to change these ports out, pull the fan on the bottom and the top, and uh, put a 4 inch pipe in there, and then they'll vent out all the heat out of the chamber and they'll cycle. That's what I'm looking for for longevity or life of the fan. If you look down here, you can see there's a second fan. Now that draws the cold air in from the bottom, and after the cold air from the bottom gets drawn in, it's blows it up through and then it comes out the top. I put a switch on it right here. In the summer I can turn it off and on. So you can see I got it turned off and now I got it turned back on. Uh, it's all reclaimed material used in this. I didn't buy anything except for that fan and the step up buck converter. Uh, outside of that everything is just reclaimed used material. I'm going to build a box uh, 
and put it on uh, the switch and everything and neaten it up. But first I want to pull that fan and go to four inch ports for the top and the bottom. Solve a lot of the problems I'm having, not that I'm having, but I want these to cycle. And uh, with that said, guys, uh, there's only one other thing I will say. There's not a lot of information about these uh, involving the double pane glass. Everybody's putting in uh, single pane. Good job, guys. Watched all your videos. Great. Uh, if you look at the overall big picture, these here with a double pane glass on them when they don't run two thirds of the time is going to keep your house a lot warmer. Where this is just an old drafty man cave, I didn't really care much about it. I'll shoot this gun at it and see what we got for internal temperatures. You can see before I do this, the pellet stove is not running, hasn't been. Oh, the wife had a few beer cans there. Oh, better get that cleaned up. Anyways, the temperature in here when we shoot the wall is 12.5 degrees. So it's uh, Room temperature would be around 17, so we're just under room temperature by about 4 degrees. Uh, these panels, I can't seem to get a reading off them from the fan blowing there, but you can see the reading that it is giving me is uh, 28.4. <coughs> Inside these is a, an internal snap switch, and they don't turn on until they hit 40 degrees Celsius, which is 23 degrees above room temperature. So they don't seem to stop cycling so I know internally inside that chamber it's 40 degrees Celsius or hotter. Now before these became active which is uh, they were passive I then put these mechanical parts in them to make them active uh, solar furnace. They would get up to temperatures of 180 degrees so they get pretty hot you may want to vent them off and what I did is I put these bearing fans in them step up buck converter snap switch put them on a, a light switch there to turn them off and on uh, just so I could turn them off in the summer you obviously don't need the heat off them But when I change that out to four inch ports on this heater, it'll be uh, a better functioning unit It'll be uh, cycling as I want it to uh, Finally, I'm going to say these work and run well uh, Run double pane glass in them it with the mechanical parts making them active. They work fantastic uh, The temperature in here as you can see is around again 11.4 so there's no other heat on in the old man cave here, but these and they're, they're they're holding their own. They work good and uh, I can only say free is free. Uh, these are fully functional on their own. They don't run off any power supply. They run off that little small solar panel outside I DIY'd and made. That was uh, the size they are because the glass was uh, given to me as a reclaimed material to be discarded. I cut the front panel out, put the uh, DIY solar panel in it and then drilled a hole through it and put the other piece of glass back on it, sealed it and chucked it on the wall there to be a power source so if I want to shut the power off to the off-grid man cave I can and these will still function on their own without any support from uh, power from the electrical side in the off-grid uh, man cave anyways hope you enjoyed tubers there you have it it's a uh, solar furnace works and runs well